Good morning, church. I hope you're doing well this morning. I just wanted to share a bit of a continuation, really, on the thought that I brought on Tuesday morning. So if you haven't had a listen to that one, I encourage you to pause this one, go listen to the other one, and then jump back in and and join us for this one. But we were talking about Isaiah 40, verse 31, which says this, Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And I really wanted to hone in on one particular um, point from that verse this morning. And that's the phrase, they will soar on wings like eagles. Now, some of you are probably going to listen to this and go, well, Sarah, I already knew that. But I wasn't particularly strong at science at school. I've never been particularly interested in the physics of the world. But actually, when I started to read about eagles and the way that they were created and how um, they use the currents of the winds around them to, to soar, it really got me thinking that the poetic nature of what God has written in his word is just so accurate. And I don't know why I'm surprised, but I want this to encourage you this morning. So when eagles leave the ground, they receive altitude by flapping their wings. And this motion causes the surrounding air to flow faster, and that's what causes them to rise. Um, So at times, um, eagles will take advantage of sort of natural air currents that they find um, to help them to rise. So for example, if winds run into um, hills or mountains, um, the currents are forced upwards, because obviously you've got the mountains, so the wind is forced upwards. And if eagles discover such a current, they just go along with the ride and they it's known as slope updraft. So they, they, they're flying along and they realise there's a mountain and the current takes them up um, and therefore they can soar, they can fly over the mountain. And what I love when I started to think about this is it's the very obstacle and it's the circumstances around that very obstacle that they want to get over that actually produces the power to rise above it. If it wasn't for that mountain being there, if it wasn't for the circumstances around the mountain, the wind flow, the current being in that particular way, the eagle wouldn't be able to rise and get over that mountain. And so I started to think, well, what what does that mean for me and you? You know, we're we're not eagles, but the verse is, is telling us that we will soar on wings like eagles. And actually what I think we need to remember is that when we encounter obstacles, when we encounter those mountains in our lives, maybe those mountains are the very thing that will make us dig down into our faith, that will give us the power to rise above that mountain. You know, sometimes it can feel like when you're hit with a mountain, when you're in that valley and all you can see is the mountain ahead of you, you can look at it and go, God, I don't know how I'm ever going to get past this. I don't know how I'm ever going to climb up it. And what God is saying to us is, I've put all the tools in your hands. I've given you the current, you need to step into it, you need to walk into it and it is that, the power of that, that will help you to rise above the circumstances that you are in. So church, I encourage you this morning, whatever mountain you're facing this morning, it might feel like a molehill, it might feel like Mount Everest that you just can't see over the top of it. The word of God is an encouragement to us that he has put everything in our hands to overcome those mountains. The song that I referred to on Tuesday's um, devotional, the words are this. It says, but I've got a promise I can hold in the middle of the struggle. God, you said you'll perform it. It may not be how I want you to, but here's what I'll do. I'm going to wait on you. And so church, once again, I encourage you to take some time out. Wait on God. Dive into the truth and the promises that are held in his word because that is what's going to sustain you and that is what is going to uproot and determine your path as you overcome your mountains. Have a great day and we'll speak to you soon.